Right, so in the last uh, tutorial we did basically the scale uh, up and down but in sets of three. Now doing it, uh, proceeding forward, you can also do it in sets of four where you go but the thing is with an even number it tends to sort of repeat and then you're only going to be testing out the extreme fingers which are which is the thumb and the pinky so it may not be a very mentally challenging drill you know so if you do it over five it can it can tend to be quite interesting so one two three four five 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 so on and so forth so you go it was taking a lot longer for the for the cycle to loop itself in fact i just played only one cycle so let's do that again okay so your mind has to be focused if you're going to count this and you're going to be working out each finger because at that accent each finger is going to be slamming the key harder than the earlier keys or the ones before or after so now again adding some stuff and some flavor in the left hand Six will be pretty much the same as three. Seven could be very interesting. try to think musically and try to create a nice phrase or a melody which you can remember and it's quite interesting how you know most of us when we play five notes we're always thinking of this one way of playing it uh, but there's so many other ways you can rediscover those same five notes played in the exact same pattern one two three four five four three two one right and um, this could definitely work on other instruments as well. Um, if any of you watching are guitar players or horn players or violin players or singers or anyone, please do try this out and let me know where, uh, whether you found it useful. Um, moving forward, you can also do all of this stuff with all of these time signatures on a wider uh, range of notes. So if I were to take the entire D major scale, Right? Um, let's try to do that in threes. Five, like we discussed earlier.
Um, and of course, uh, do it over two octaves if you if you feel like you can. exercise will help you develop your timing and more importantly um, relish the notes a bit better you know because um, I don't know if there's any musical value in you know just being able to <clears throat> shred with that scale you know without really knowing what I, I don't know if you'll you'll be able to do much with that uh, idea <clears throat> But if you can put something like this, which is pretty much just linear up and down uh, to, to a meter where you have an accent that sort of gives you a purpose that will strengthen your fingers. Also keep your mind thinking because um, normally whenever we do stuff on three, we may want to do a standard traditional, you know. feels very easy on the mind because it's a nice scalar ascending and descending phrase but if you do something like this and uh, still count three or still count five or seven it can be a lot more interesting so uh, again i hope you found the tutorial useful again this is jason here from nathaniel school of music please um, subscribe to our channel and uh, share the video around or any of our other videos around with your friends um, and if any of you are looking out to learn music you can definitely reach out to us or if you're not from Bangalore or if you're not from India and if you're far away from us you can definitely stay subscribed on our YouTube channel a lot more videos coming your way cheers